in this video I'm going to do a simple lampshade using the loft feature and we're also going to put on a couple of rails I'll just show you what happens when you do that so edit feature so if I connect those rails okay it's completely different I'll do the other one Hold down the shift key, press down the mouse button, and I can orbit. I'll go home. Oops. Completely different. And you can also go into the sketch, edit sketch, and you could always change them. But there's also toggles on them where you can change the curve. Whoa, so sketch, and you can see that it's completely changed that one. Really asymmetrical, don't know if I like it, but it's an option. Right, let's do one. First job, sketch, horizontal plane, draw a circle. I'm on 3D there at the moment, so I'm going to click off that. Top view, right, circle. I'm going to do one about 120 mils. I'm also going to put a hole in for this B22, the bayonet fitting, and I'm doing it to 29 millimeters. Also, I've got an option here of a B15, really small one, right? B22, 29 millimeters. Circle 29. Finish the sketch, go home, right I'm going to go construct an offset plank and do a layer above, then I'm going to merge them or loft them together, 150, go home, and do another sketch, circle tool, make this one bigger, I don't know, 180. Finish the sketch, there's a finished sketch under there. Can't see it, finish sketch. Now I'm going to do the loft. Create a loft. Bang. So pretty much, that's the lampshade shape. I'm going to do a shell. Click on the top face. Go to thickness, 5mm will do. Okay. And to finish that lamp, I'm going to flip it over, turn the sketch back on, even though it says it's on, uh, that one there, yep, do a press pull, click on that, and I'm going down, and it's cutting it out, now I have a hole, go home, and that's pretty much that, it's a real super simple lampshade. So I'm just going to disappear now and do the rest. Right. So next what we're going to do is put on some rails onto this basic shape. But first I've just got to put on some reference points onto my two sketches. So I'm going to click on these. Edit sketch. Now I'm going to put on, I'm going to go construction. And put on some reference lines. Get out of 3D. So I snap to there. So I'm just putting on some reference lines so I can make sure that I snap to the right place. I'll do edit the sketch. Now this could be done at the initial stage, but I want to show you the basic one first. Not snapping. No. So into the middle. Now that's not construction, so I'm going to go finish, or cancel, click on these lines, click on construction to turn it into construction. Okay, now I'll do another line. So if you do make a mistake, 
and you're not on construction, you can do that. Snap onto that one. That should be on construction, but it's not. Cancel. Construction. Finish sketch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go and draw a new sketch so I can put on this profile for the rails, but you cannot do it after the loft, it has to be before the loft. So this is a timeline, I'm going to move the timeline back to in front of the loft. New sketch, vertical plane, go to 3D, just going to pan a little bit, click on the spline tool, so that's snapped. And snap, that's good. And tick on the green to finish. Other side. Snap. Now if you don't put on those reference points, sometimes it doesn't snap in. Cancel. Finish sketch. Move the timeline. Nothing showing yet. Right. Edit the loft edit feature click on rails pretty strange but we'll do the other one as well to activate both okay and there we go asymmetrical yeah pretty cool right thanks for watching another video